Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching the seventh episode of Band of Brothers. So last episode we got to see it from the medic's point of view, which was really cool. I think we both kind of thought that that was one of our favorite episodes so far. It really was. Um, you know, this show, we kind of at first thought, okay, we're, who's, what's the character that we're going to kind of centrally focus on? And at first I thought it was going to be Winters and Nixon. And you know, they're obviously, Winters, I say a little bit more so, have a prominent role in this, but it really is an ensemble piece where we're kind of going through all these different people and seeing war from their perspective. The medical one was such an interesting concept that I never really thought about, you know, what they have to go through in a battle where your friends are like limbs are getting blown off and you have to go over there, help them as best you can, take them, you know, to like, I guess the makeshift doctors and whatnot. And, you know, that was a whole thing too with the woman who ended up getting like, well, the building that she was in got struck. Um, and then, you know, he found that rag and had to use that later on. Um, it was just very poetic. Yeah, it makes me wonder what we're going to focus on this episode. Usually we get kind of an idea at the beginning when they're doing the interview. Views, yeah. um, which I think is also another really cool aspect of the show is that we kind of hear it from the perspective of people who were there who and then it, yeah. yeah, and then you get to see kind of like a dramatization of the things they were talking about and it's done so well yeah I also think in the last episode the fact that they were so low on supplies and it was like so scarce and hard to come by they were like hey do you have any more morphine those little sticks that they were shooting them with and bandages and scissors like everything was in short supply It doesn't take too many days of that, and you change dramatically. We didn't have much ammunition. It's cold. We didn't have any clothes. You couldn't build a fire. If you build a fire, some crazy thing would shoot at you. So what happened in the last episode? I withstood it well, but I had a lot of trouble. Those events would come back, and, and you never forget them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Aww. Oh, that makes me so sad. I know. So much more so, too, because, you know, yeah. he actually did go through it. It's like, you know, these actors are portraying it, but... Yeah. Um, <sighs> like they're the ones who had to live with it. Mm. And still live with it. I don't know why I hadn't noticed this up to this point, but it said it was based on a book. Hmm. Or books. I may have misread. Casey loves books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> The breaking point, that doesn't sound I know, good. I was already kind of like grimacing, like it seems like something bad's gonna happen. I mean, I know a lot of yeah. bad things happen, but. The title like that? Well, if it's still like the winter, they, are, might, they might be at their breaking point. All right, so right here's gotta be the logging road coming up to here, yes, which means we get right there. Hey, make it easy. <laughs> Stop crying, Malarker, I'll nail it to your head. <laughs> Good, it's made of wood. <laughs> During that 1,000-yard attack through the woods, we encountered sporadic German machine gun fire and had a couple of casualties. Hmm. Hubler's running with a German officer on horseback was the most dramatic moment of the day. Oh. What happened here? Oh. 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 There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Right through the helmet, too. Oh, shit. I'm still looking for the lure. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, she got it. Thank you. That was messed up. Uh, how they said that, um, you know, the other guy's body was going to get, like, pillaged by, like, the soldiers as they were, like, pillaging their bodies, mm -hmm. too. Outstanding accuracy on my part, if I do say so myself. You, you missed, do? like, four times. Which I do. <laughs> Hell shifty, I think maybe it's leaving you around your money, right? Likes to embellish. Mm -hmm. Hey, Liv, that germ, what'd you think he was doing? Probably a little recon. He must have figured nobody's here a horse. I think he was just trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Uh, I feel like he was probably on a, a mission. And if the horse comes back by itself, mm -hmm. they might send more people. Shutting up, Sarge. <laughs> oh, hey, what the hell? Uh oh. Can I attack? Patrol? No, we would have heard. Or is he just messing with a damn Luger? Oh, Jesus, it's who we shot! Sniper! <gasps> no, no, he, he shot himself! What? The? What? How? Just what, what happened? Just what, what are you doing with a load of gun in your pants? What's oh the logo? Oh my gosh! 
I mean, it's shot, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have both. Ah! Ah. Don't worry. You'll be alright, who? you be alright, who? Right. Warm him up, warm him up. He's probably messing around with it. Mm -hmm. How's it looking, Sergeant? Let me see it, huh? So a freaking Luger. Mm -hmm. I just saw a YouTube video actually that was like a restoration of like this era of Luger. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Bring, put this across. Pretty sure my dad has one. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Hey, look. That was a great shot, right? Great shot. Is he gonna like die? Oh he's my gosh! Or is he gonna get like paralyzed or lose the? Oh my! The bullet's still in. Oh no! No, I think he's passing out. I don't know. They got. Doc. Oh my gosh! That is so fucking crazy. He just ended up accidentally killing himself. He was wearing so many clothes we couldn't tell how bad he was bleeding. Oh. By the time we got him to the aid station, he was already dead. He bled out. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't have made a difference if you had known. Cut that main artery in the leg. That's that's it. Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna what the uh, heck? go back and make sure the boys are all dug in, sir. I can't believe that. Oh my no, no. gosh, that's because you wouldn't awful. think that would be so serious, yeah. you know. You want to see him, sir? No, I just would have expected to get this kind of news from him. Well, I was, uh, I was there, sir. Huh. Figured it might as well be me. Italian S3 planning a move, so I will probably be called away. What's the formation you want us to go for? At present, as per usual, but I'll clarify that with you at a later. Time, Lieutenant like no, like, he seems you know, very direction. unsure of himself. Yeah. He kind of sits on the fence. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta make a call. Okay, I would. I don't, know. I don't even know who would be like a worse person to follow him or Sobel. Because mm -hmm. Sobel made wrong decisions, kind of like what he said. Yeah. He just doesn't make decisions. I mean, I don't think it's good. Either in, way. Either way, yeah. Dyke was a favorite of somebody at Division. He'd been sent down to E Company to get some combat experience. Sometimes we got the feeling E Company was an annoyance to him. Something unpleasant he had to get through before he could continue his march up the ladder. So we didn't really have a yeah. lot of combat experience before? If you ask me, I'm glad Lieutenant Dyke's never around. Hey, you know what? We're doing all right. What's the word? Oh, uh, you know, sitting around freezing her ass off, singing Dyke's praises. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a replacement officer coming in here. He getting thrown in with a group of guys who've known each other for what, two years? They've been in combat together since Normandy. He's supposed to just show up and lead them. How's the guy do that? Is that really where his mm -hmm. head's at, though? I feel like, but he's not really trying that hard. Most yeah. educated sons of bitches in the entire ETO. Huh? I feel like he's trying to like cheer make him, him up, like, cheer him up or just kind of make him not think so bad about him because he seems like you know a lot of people kind of talk crap about him right now but I don't know it kind of I think it was kind of the first thing Dyke. all right yeah we all do our jobs everything will be fine <sighs> to me that's ominous yeah, I mean, I he's mean, just trying to like motivate them. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. Okay, we're okay. It's like he's not really that bad. He just he's intimidated well, I don't know by y'all. Any of that? But it's See, for a sergeant, it was my job. Yeah. yeah, not to protect Dyke, but to protect the integrity of the company. Because mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. want him to like crack throughout. Mm -hmm. Shams. Do not ever talk when I'm talking. You got that? He <laughs> <laughs> thinks he has to yell all the time. <laughs> little craphead. Did not listen to a word I said during that brief decision. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. What about Compton? He's the only real choice. Buck's a real combat leader, but you know, I want Easy Company to have at least one experienced platoon leader. I feel like he would be the best option, yeah. honestly. We all agreed Buck Compton would have been the best choice to run Easy if Winters had been able to get rid of Dyke. But to be honest, Buck wasn't the same soldier he'd been before he got shot in Holland. Mm. Yeah, he has been mm -hmm. a little, some moments where he just like kind of loses it a second for like, he not loses it, but he just kind of like is in a daze sometimes. This guy used to hang at the front of Delancey's and just, you know, just stare at people. Yeah, I know who crazy Joe McCluskey is. 
The hell's that got to do with anything, babe? Mm, the buck kind of reminds me of him now. What? No, ever since he got shot in Holland. Wait, wait, wait. So everyone else is noticing it mm. too. Because Crazy Joe McCloskey was fucking nuts, babe. That's why they called him Crazy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you saying? Ah, forget it. His, like, eyes glaze over sometimes, and you don't really know what he's thinking about. He's all wound up like a spring. Hey, 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 he's fine. Was it, like, Winters who was, like, talking him to him at, the, like, the movie theater that one episode, too, when he mm -hmm. went on leave, too, and he was just, like, staring? I mean, obviously, he's watching a movie, but I feel like it was more than that. Besides, you saw, once he was up moving around, he was his old self again. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could just, like, you know, slows down. getting in and out of it, though. Fine. I feel like it's like the guy at the beginning who was saying like I was able to, you know, handle yeah. it at the time, but you gotta kind of stuck with me forever. Compartmentalize. Yeah. George, I feel like when he's in motion and moving, Nothing he's good. But when he's there in his thoughts, mm -hmm. that's probably when it affects him. Yeah. So I, I do wonder now: is this like you know, like a representation of you know mm -hmm. the guy from the beginning? Bunch of morons who volunteer to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Can you get any more stupid than that? Probably not. Right. Still feel like, based off the history, I'd rather have him leading mm -hmm. them. The Luger. I heard about Hubler. Shame. Show yes, sir. <clears throat> it is. I don't know yet. You want it. Where are you from, Liv? My brother and I helped my mom run a boarding house. Oh, really? And your father? He was, uh... He was killed when I was ten, sir. Oh. Automobile accident. That's sad. <laughs> well, yes, yes, it is sad. <laughs> so, what made you decide to join the paratroopers? I read an article about paratroopers in Life magazine. Talked about the training, how hard it's it was. It's weird to me that he's, like, just, like, staring off... Like, mm -hmm. into nothing while talking to him. Like, it looks like he's asking questions, but doesn't really care. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, sir? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, it doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. Like, it's almost like he's just doing it because, like, it's his job. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of going through the motions. Yeah, screw Dyke. I want Buck mm -hmm. in charge. Captain Nixon, sir. Captain Nixon, sir. What? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Sorry to disturb you. This came from division. I feel like we've seen him wake up so many times I in know. this series. <laughs> He's always waking up. Huh. Dyke's being transferred? No, Please. I can't help you with that. Oh, but yeah. division has decided to pluck one officer from each regiment that served in the heroic defense of Bastogne. Hmm. Send it back to the States on a 30-day furlough. <gasps> Whoa! Just banging the drum for the war bond drive, that kind of thing. Wow, Turns that's out crazy. Oh, no! Oh. I mean, good for you, yeah. but, like... Hey, that's One of the fantastic. people we trust. Good for you. Thank you. How in the world does your leaving help me? It doesn't. I'm not going. Okay. Oh. I grew up there. That's why I came to Europe. <laughs> I just wish they told me there was a war on. Anyway, the point is, this thing's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> we can find an officer somewhere in this battalion who could use a long trip home. Congratulations, thank Lieutenant Peacock. I can't thank oh. him anybody who deserves this more. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> really glad that you're going home. It's like cool to go back, but then like 30 days and you're coming back, you know, it's, but you do get a little break. <laughs> How do I feel about being rescued by Patton? Well, I feel pretty peachy about it if it wasn't for one thing. We didn't need to be fucking rescued by Patton. <laughs> What are you doing here? I want to head back to the line, sir. Joe, you don't have to do that. Get yourself back to the aid station. Heal up. I'd really like to head back with the fellas, sir. It's like the Energizer of Bunny, man. Mm -hmm. He just keeps going. Joe Toy had been at the aid station for three days, and everybody was glad to have him back, especially Bill Garnier. How are his feet? What the hell are you doing back here? I had to make sure you're on top of things. You're on top of things? Tied me on boots once last week. <laughs> Escape from the A station. Where'd you get hit? What's that? It's uh, web placement. Really? <laughs> Some guy I've known for two years and I forgot his face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There's enough crap flying around here. You're bound to get dinged sometime. Almost every single one of these guys has been hit at least once. Except for Ali, he's a two timer. <laughs> he landed on broken glass in Normandy and got peppered oh. by a potato masher in Holland. 
You'll find out, son. Mm -hmm. You'll find out. It's never been hit. You're one lucky bastard. Takes one of those. Don't one jinx one. him. Consider us blessed. A skinny little guy? He got pinged to the neck in Holland. And right next to him, that other skinny little guy, that's Popeye. He got shot in his scrawny little butt in Normandy. <laughs> because they really all have been, like, hit at yeah. some point. Buck got shot in his rather large butt in Holland. <laughs> yeah, can't <laughs> tradition getting shot in the ass. <laughs> Sergeant Lipton over there. He got a couple pieces of a tank Winters shot. got shot, too. Kind of. Nixon got hit in the helmet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lieutenant Ronald Spears was one of the platoon leaders in D Company. He was already a legend. Hmm. Stories about Spears are probably all bullshit anyway. What stories? <laughs> what stories? Was it like with the Germans when they like shot him down Spears after the... shot one of his own men for being drunk. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. And there's another one about him giving cigarettes to 20 German people. Oh, yeah. the cigarettes, yeah. Keep up the good work. While you're at it, you might want to reinforce your cover. Oh, well, actually, sir, Lieutenant Dykes are not even to bother. They're only going to be here one day. Lieutenant Dykes said that, huh? I don't forget what I said. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> the so way intense. he looks at them, yeah. Oh, anyone care for smoke? <laughs> <laughs> not from you. <laughs> yeah. We good. Or is he just yeah. joking, like, because he heard them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. What? Fuck that would be a fuckhole. We were in the Bois Jacques. The Germans had been shelling our old position. There were signs of tree bursts everywhere. That got our attention. Are they still around? Like in close proximity? Looking across the field at Foy, I could see enemy troops. I still couldn't see their artillery. But I know like they're guy. doing stuff. They're making haste. We're gonna strengthen our covers and we're gonna hang in. We're not gonna fall back. Right, Lieutenant? Hmm? Tyke. <laughs> you all take care of it. I gotta go talk to regiment. He just like can't be bothered. Hmm. Like what does he do all day? How do you fucking know? <laughs> Gets on the radio and talks to regiment, I guess. Yes. Oh. Mm. It's just crazy too how fast it can be. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's like a blink of an eye. Oh my gosh. Did they get Joe? For some reason, at that moment in that half-finished foxhole, all I could think about was the Fourth of July when I was a kid. I love to blow up dirt clouds and pop bottles and the like. Look forward to it all year long. What I saw that day was the most awesome and terrifying <laughs> display of firepower I'd ever seen in my life. Dang, what the heck? Of course, I wouldn't have been laughing if I'd known what happened to Joe Toy. <laughs> oh, oh my got gosh. Him. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Well, well, I mean, they said what happened, so like I, whether he is alive or not, injured, yeah. Like serious. Oh my gosh. I'm like nervous. It's gonna be like his legs, legs or something. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. Maybe we should see if anybody's hit. Uh, I'm a law guess what they want. Crowds will try to draw us out in the open. He's just gonna bleed out there if nobody checks on him. Like at this point, the best case scenario is getting him and... Yeah. I mean, you lost your leg, but... Yeah, you could potentially live you mm -hmm. know, or take care of it quickly, but... Can you walk? Come on, find the foxhole, come on! I, I, I... <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Sad. Like, it's. Yeah. I gonna get up. He's like in shock. I need my helmet. No, he just wants uh, to keep freaking fighting, man. He was like this with his feet. He was like this when he got shot. Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay in your foxholes! Stay in your foxholes! Help! Oh, he's pinned by that tree. Oh, yeah. Shit. 
Come on, Joe. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. We ain't going anywhere. You're all right. Joe. This is like so hard to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. I got you. Come on, Joe. I got you. Yeah, he's still like in shock. He yeah. like, oh, oh. Ah, Think I overdid it on a cover for my flashlight? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God, come on. Do we just lose Joe and gonorrhea? That sounds so weird to say, but I mean, that's how I know his name. I wasn't laughing anymore. Wow. They just lost so many. Like, I don't even know who they all lost, but I mean, it's hitting them. This was fucking crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm like in, I can't even believe that. I know. I'm like, Ugh. Sergeant Lipton, you get things organized here. I'm gonna go for help. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy fucking what sucks. The fuck. <sighs> That's crazy. Like, I was like, read the room. Mm. They just like, I don't know. Somebody else needs to step up. Like, I know. <sighs> Uh. This is that scene in the intro. Yeah. Is this like his like breaking point? Like it, I mean it might be. You doing Popeye? Hundred percent ready to kill Joe with lip. Oh, Joe's oh, alive. Oh my gosh. Oh, that... Yeah, oh. his leg is... It's like, moving. Oh, my God. Okay, so they're both alive. Oh, my gosh. They're alive. I'm, like, surprised. Oh, oh I can't... Like oh, yeah. my gosh. What's the guy got to do to get killed around here? Oh, Bill, you going first. Whatever you say, Doc. Whatever you say. Over here. Take this man. Oh, my gosh. I hope they live. I think they're going to live yeah. at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, they're gonna lose their legs, but they're yeah. gonna live. Told you I beat you back to the states. <laughs> oh, that was not the time. <laughs> they're both gonna lose the same leg, aren't I they? Well, but I mean, him going after him saved his life. So yeah. like, he traded your your leg for your friend's right. life, which you know. Yeah. Yeah. You should probably go talk to him now, huh? Mm. Oh. Some say Buck changed after he was shot in Holland. Maybe. Is it gonna be here is when he really changes? Well, something happened to him when he saw a toy and Garnier on the ground. Oh no. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That was like shocking. Oh my god. It's also like two characters that we focused yeah. on a lot throughout the series up to this point. Didn't say anything about him losing his friends. Oh. Buck was a great combat leader. No. Mm, he just like received the silver star for his part in taking out those German guns on D-Day. He took everything the crowds could throw at him time and again. This was like the last little thing, maybe. UCLA did not make the rules bowl this winter, probably because you weren't there. I'm sure you're teaching oh, all the young soldiers so the joy you have of the sport. He like held it together for so long, and it just yeah. At what point? What does this also mean for Easy Company? Yeah. Cause he's like gone, yeah. Yeah, we're still stuck with him. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Mark. Yes, yeah, Sergeant. Someone's gotta have to step up. He was stuck with Dyke. He's over there. And he was off taking a walk. <laughs> oh he's my always gosh. taking a walk. Taking a walk or on the radio, like. 
At this point, it seems like uh, yes, Lipton, sir. probably. We, uh, we cleared all the green yeah. area between, uh, We cleared the woods east of Foy. Like, I don't know how high his rank is, that they would actually consider him as an alternative. Uh, First Sergeant Lipton, you organize things here, oh. and I'm gonna go Dude, for yeah. help. The men just don't respect <laughs> them at all. all. Wave clusters. <clears throat> hey, Luz. <laughs> That's really good. That's yeah, okay. It's gotta be Lipton. Yeah. Um, he's like the one holding them together right now. Yeah. First, great impression of Dyke. You think so? I thought it was a little off. Nah, you got it pretty good. Huh? Second, don't do it anymore. Especially the part about what he said to me. Yeah. It doesn't do anybody any good, okay? Yeah. I got you. Right. It's gotta be Lipton. Oh, he's like such a, like an honorable person too, like, mm -hmm. you know. Like he's making their lives so hard and he's still like, mm -hmm. you know, like, let's not. Oh, <gasps> fuck! <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's like anytime you think you can catch a breath, you know, it's just like. Whoa! It's like freaking insane. Oh my gosh, I feel like. Oh my the God. fact that it's lingering so much makes me think. Oh, oh my gosh! Did they did a freaking! I was not anticipating it was that them. at all. It oh, was wow. them. Oh wow! That my I was gosh. like thinking something was gonna hit him. I didn't. Oh, wow. Like they were the ones in the yeah, foxhole yeah. too, but I mean, I guess it could in theory hit the foxhole yeah. too. It just. Oh my god! Damn, that was crazy how they did that. I guess it's just like less likely of a chance, but this is like it just relentless. Yeah. The bombing here. Oh. <gasps> Did it not go off? Oh my gosh! What do you do? I mean, still get up and move. Oh. I mean, what else? Are you fucking? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't. Uh -huh. Oh my. Are they just. Gosh, I mean, I guess it was just a dud, but like, that is so freaking wild. But it Foxhole killed them too. Yeah. The one that hit Muck and Pinkala's foxhole wasn't. That's just the way it was. I understand why this episode's called Breaking Point now. Didn't I hear you say you wanted to uh, bring a Luger home for your kid brother? Yeah. I'm always gonna, gonna give it to him. Why don't, you, why don't you give him that? It's hoops, right? Don't put it in your pants. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here. He's just like keeping it all together. He so needs to be like the leader right now. Say goodbye to Buck. I'm sure to mean a lot to him. Yeah, he does. I feel like he's the one here who's like, mm. he's being the leader without being the actual leader. I mean, he honestly is displaying a lot of the things yeah. that Winters was doing early yeah. on. Morning after the shelling that killed Muck and Pankala, I saw a soldier try to dig a foxhole with his bare hands. Private. He didn't notice that he torn off all his fingernails. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. He just needed yeah, yeah. to be removed from the situation, yeah. yeah. Fear is poison in combat. Oh Something we all felt, but you just didn't show it. Damn, Lipton's such a good leader though. Buck was never the same after seeing Toy and Garnier get hit that day. I guess he just needed some time away from it all. Wow. Percanti. He's just, hey, you know, the trying to keep, east and west of Foy. Now it was keep time the for the inevitable as as assault possible. on Foy itself. Yeah. Frankly, I was dreading it. And where the hell is Dyke? Yeah. E Company would lead the attack. The problem was, at least in my estimation, he company still did not have a leader. You are their leader. This so is what they were doing before they started shelling y'all last time, so... The night before the attack, I did something as first sergeant I would never have imagined myself doing. What'd you do? Did you confront Dyke? Life? Didn't figure you for a smoking man. Oh, he's talking to Winters. Hmm. But tomorrow's gonna be the real deal. And he's mm -hmm. gonna have to lead those men. 
He's gonna have to make decisions, sir, and I... I gotta tell you, sir, I think he's gonna get a lot of easy company men killed. We can do, winners. Thank you, Sergeant. That'll be all. Yes, sir. You got about an eighth of a mile of open field to cross before we get down here in a foy. There's very little cover, so you gotta move quickly. I've set up two sections of light machine guns at either end here. They'll give you covering fire. Third battalion will come in from the east, led by I Company. That should cause distraction. Now I'm worried he is gonna get a lot more people mm. killed. And then what's gonna happen? Maybe that could be like the the thing that gets him out of this position, yeah. but I don't know. I mean, they Hurry. were able to get Sobel out, but yeah, it was but they risky. had to get everyone to sign yeah. and like. That was like before they were really yeah. in combat. Mm -hmm. It's like, I feel like you can't really do it here now. Like, too much going on. Oh my gosh. He's always just like... Disinterested. Yawning, like, not really here. I either think he's going to get a lot of people killed or he's going to get killed this episode. Lipton just in the front lines. Oh no. Get me Foley on the radio. Get out of there. Move. Oh my gosh, they're just sitting there. Oh my gosh, they're like sitting ducks. God damn it! First platoon, hold up, hold up! Take cover! Go forward! Oh my gosh. This is so disorganized and chaotic. I know. What are we doing, Lieutenant? Why are we stopped? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Foley! You take your men! You take your men on a flanking mission around the village and attack it from the rear! We cannot stay here! Do you understand? Oh, attack the village by itself? Oh, he just isn't he's not confident and he doesn't know what's going on. Provide suppressing fire! Lipton fucking take, take charge, uh, yeah. Oh. Get going forward! He's like, can't handle this. Yeah. I mean, he had no combat experience either, you know? Mm. Like, they've all been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Shit! Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, this is what Lipton I said. I know. It's just so know? upsetting because of the fucking politics yeah. of it all. It's just like getting all these fucking men killed. Suppressing fire now! You never really think about that when you think of, like, you know, war mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, you know, having a bad leader and, like, what that can cause. Just getting so many shot men unnecessarily ass. killed. <laughs> Everyone's always getting shot in their ass. He's Sir, still just here, like... Ducks here. He's like cannot. Yeah, this kind of does remind me of Sobel a little bit now. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Oh yeah. Mm. But I mean, he can't yeah, really. I know, I know. You know? It's just, he's. But I'm it's just his ups, company. I'm and, just so fucking upset with the situation. I'd send somebody else in. He was about to go in yeah. there. <laughs> fucking love winners. I know. I love him too. Let's go, kid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hang on, Virgo. Fuck Oh, wow. He, like, mm -hmm. leapt through that. I'm taking over. Precision, let He, like, is yeah. frozen in fear, yeah. I believe he's in the building with the case in the roof. All right, I want mortars and grenade launchers on that building till it's gone. When it's gone, I want first to go straight in. Forget going around. Everybody else follow me. Yes, sir. Thank God. Oh. <gasps> the, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Sir, I think they're gonna pull back. If we don't connect with that, they're gonna slip away. That's right, I wait here. I know, easy six. What the hell? Oh my gosh, it's so, like stressing me uh, out. Oh my gosh, you're like running right past them here too, like. 
At first, the Germans didn't shoot at him. I think they couldn't quite believe what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's just like running through. Is he gonna like throw a grenade in the, the tank? He came back. Oh my god, he ran back! <laughs> Dang, where were you this whole time? <laughs> we needed you. I know. Okay, so maybe it, it won't be Lipton, it'll maybe probably be him, you. yeah. Oh, you're the leader. <laughs> Dang! I feel like that's gonna build morale, though, yeah. seeing something like that. Yeah. Run in. Like they said, the Germans are just staring at <laughs> Damn. We took over 100 wow. German prisoners. After that, it was mostly criminals. I want to see what happened to the other guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what the? Oh my God! You just can never take a fucking break, man. Like this episode has just been nonstop. Can't see him. Oh my gosh. He's drawing him out. Oh my yeah. gosh. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Come on! Oh, there oh we go. Oh my gosh. Down. Dang. Down. The balls to do that too, though. Like, you know, be bait. Mellet, Heron, Sawasco, and Ken Webb were killed by a sniper. There would have been more if it hadn't been for Shifty Powers. You hit bad, Perconti? Beautiful wound, Lip. Shot me right through my ass. Remember they said it's like a rite of passage in Easy yeah. Company. You about Dyke? Yeah. Mm. Thank God for small mercies, huh? Yeah. Like, is he getting removed? Or did he get killed? I feel like they, they wouldn't have said it like that if he got killed, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. We spent our night in Rashomp in a convent. It was the first time we'd spent a night indoors in a month. Dang. Of course, in the morning, we found out Mormelon would have to wait. Oh, no. Hitler lost a counteroffensive in Alsace, and we were bound for the town of Hagenau to help hold the line. They, like, literally cannot catch a break. We'd come into Belgium <laughs> with 121 men and officers, plus 24 replacements. That's 145 total. We were going out with 63. Oh, my God. That's less than half. The engineer was so badly crazy. wounded, and Hubler died accidentally. Okay. Joe Toy had lost his leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, yeah. oh, how they did that. Wow. Among the dead were Heron, Mellet, Sawasco, oh Kenneth Webb, Harold Webb, Alex Pankala, and Skip Muck. Dang, it's like crazy it's to haunting, see it like yeah. that. Compton. Oh my god. It's like them all just. Norman Dyke. Okay, so okay. Dyke. I don't, I, I don't know if he died if he said, or if yeah. he got he removed. In the end. removed. So, so I guess we came out ahead. So he's the, the new, okay. You want to ask me, don't you? Ask you what, sir? You want to know if they're true or not, the stories about me? Well, maybe they kept talking about it because they never heard Tercius deny it. Well, maybe that's because Tercius knew there was some value to the men thinking he was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole Roman Legion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... He turned out to be a great leader after all. These men aren't really concerned about the stories. They're just glad to have you as our CEO. No, oh, because okay. they are, you know, they wanted to see action, yeah. not oh, talk. From what I've heard, they've always had one. I've been told you. there's always been one man they could count on. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have any idea who I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> no, sir. Oh my what? God! It's you. For a it's you. <laughs> Ever since Winners Made Battalion, you've been the leader of Easy Company. Oh, and uh, you're not going to be first sergeant much longer. Is he getting promoted? Yeah, he's got to be. Yeah. Winners put in for a battlefield commission and sink approved on your behalf. You should get the official nod in a few days. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. That's funny that it was him who, all yeah. those stories, and he was like, see, that's why, like, I feel like he offered the cigarettes yeah. on purpose. He, yeah, he was like, he's like played into yeah. it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, thanks for crapping <laughs> on foxholes, you shitheads. It's my pleasure. Oh, wow. When 
shelters. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Wow, that episode was insane. I know. It was really good. It was really good. It was sad. I did not think. It was really good. I mean, obviously, we saw that the episode was titled Breaking Point, so I mean, we were left to assume that there were going to be some crazy things happen and that Easy Company was probably going to reach their breaking point, but to see how much loss they sustained in a single episode. Gonorrhea and Joe kind of took a little bit of a mm. primary focus really early on. Gonorrhea was the one who lost his brother. Mm. Joe was the one who had to deal with the almost getting gangrene on his mm. feet. Um, and then he got shot and he mm. just kept wanting to keep going. Losing Buck too. Um, he honestly, he saw them, you know, take yeah, that injury. He, like, he just couldn't, couldn't handle it yeah. anymore. I will say that Lipton has now become one of my more favorite mm -hmm. characters on this show. As I well really as, like, I think Spears. That's what I was going to say. Him as well. I liked him a lot too. To see him do that and like take it on when the other guy couldn't handle it or couldn't fulfill his duty, yeah, I thought like was yeah, I thought it was really, really, um, it was really cool to see. And then him, like, at the end, kind of be like, yeah, I, you know, I knew all the things you were talking about me, but, you know. What they said, uh, or what Lipton said about him, like, that the Germans were just, like, so taken back by the fact yeah, he was just, like, running the past them. I was like, I think I mentioned it right before. I was like, man, he's really just, like, running past them. Like, are, they were just probably in a state of shock that somebody yeah, would like, even, like, Whoa. run that far into, like, their forces. It was pretty wild. Yeah. But he's the new CO. Yeah. Which, honestly, these two guys are really, like, like the ones that have been keeping it together now. Um, it was also really cool to see Winters almost run in there to go like, you know, kind of help his men. I know he got to ha he had to be held back in a sense. Yeah. Obviously though, Winters is another favorite character yeah. of mine as well. And I know ever since he got promoted, we've kind of seen smaller doses of him, but I do feel like the doses that we mm -hmm. do see of him are very impactful. We had lost some uh, very good men there. Toy and Garnier had lost their legs okay. there. Garnier, uh, uh, Gordon was badly hit. Uh, a number of other people were killed. So this is all the events from the last episode? You have a feeling you're going to live through the war. It's just a gut feeling, but everybody had that feeling. I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk carefully. Take care of yourself. Wow. What are, <laughs> what, what this one's going to be about, then? Mm -hmm. What's this titled? The Last Patrol. Oh, that... Doesn't sound good though. I don't it know. also makes it sound like we might lose some yeah. more people right before, you know, we get to that last little bit of the war. It's me! Oh, come on, I haven't been gone that long. Jesus, yes, you have. Now look what I found. Hey guys. Was this the guy who was gone for 30 days? Mm. Sorry, sir. No, he My came back David after they took so many friggin' hospital. losses. Good for you. Uh, of the guys oh my gosh i don't know if it was the guy but he said yeah. he got back from the hospital it was so Either still way, yeah hey guys some lieutenant told me to report oh my second. gosh don't come with that energy right now mm -hmm. read the room i know bro read the room who's leading the platoon sergeant malarkey is what no officers i guess you didn't hear no what's that make a malarkey lieutenant on the fast track now. Really? That's great. This is my hospital? Yeah. Must have liked that hospital. Cause, uh, we left Holland four months ago. Well, I wasn't there the whole time. So he hadn't been here in four months? Then the replacement detail. Dang. Dang. Bust out and help us in Bastogne web. Mm. You also can't blame him fully. It's not like... Yeah. So did Allie, right? Back in the oh, oh well, so gosh. people did. Garnier. Then, okay, well. Garnier. He Oof. lost his... Oh, my God. Gosh. Be like, thankful you weren't here. I know. And just zip it, you know? Just know. <laughs> let it be. Just don't even talk to yeah. anybody. Just do your job, and like maybe they'll forget about it eventually. Mm. I know, just contribute. No, oh, going forward. Oh my gosh. Service in the service? Oh. No, no, I'm fine, Sarge. He was just so not yeah. used to this. <laughs> he was the like, other guys were just like, they just I know, I was like, casually <laughs> turned around. They were like, oh, as he was like, <laughs> the guys I knew were either gone or very different from what I remembered. I was a veteran of D-Day and Market Garden mm. and had been with the company since its formation. But now, because I missed Bastogne, I was treated as a replacement and felt like I was starting all <laughs> wow. over again. Even though he was there at like D-Day and yeah. all that, but Bastogne was something else. Hey, look what I found. Feeling all right? There you go. He's got pneumonia. Oh my gosh. Is this the company CP for easy? Yes, sir. As you were. 
Lieutenant Jones looking for Captain Spears. He's on his way, sir. Why don't you uh, sit down? Can you give me a coffee? Like I feel like we're going to focus more on Webster's perspective, like mm. rejoining it now. Which is interesting, too. Yeah. What platoon are you in? Oh, we're about to find that out. <laughs> this is uh, Lieutenant Jones. Listen, for Christ's sake, will you go back in the back and shack out? There's some beds back there with fresh sheets. I will, sir. What is he holding? He's just trying to make myself useful, sir. But just go rest and heal. Get some soup. Lieutenant <laughs> Jones, sir. Right, our West Wait, Pointer. Was... Yes, sir. No, you went to West Point. When did you graduate? Point. June 6th, sir. June 6th? Of last year? D-Day, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> he just laughed. Hurt. Oh my gosh. So oh, I'm like going <laughs> to volunteer for the patrol. I don't know if I want somebody who hasn't really had a whole lot of experience like jumping right in here at the end because I feel like you're kind of setting them up for failure. Like I know the other guys are like, you know, been through enough, mm -hmm. but also like they're experienced and I feel like they could probably handle themselves better. I feel like both of them it's not a good thing for either. At least he's been in it. He's gonna he's gonna wanna go. Yeah. Because he wants to like kinda earn it back, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit. Yes, sir. Tell Also this guy looks very familiar, but I can't remember what I've seen him in. Webster. Sir, I'm Private Webster from First Platoon. I just got back from the hospital and it, Lieutenant Foley told me to go to second, but Sergeant Malarkey said Fine, second. Take uh Lieutenant Jones, Lieutenant. OP two. Mm -hmm. So these two who've not really been in it a lot. I think. Webster for sure for like four months, but yeah. Jones, I think. I, well, if he was graduating from West Point on D-Day, he wasn't there then. Hey, Webster. Hey, Sergeant. Hey, look what we just scrounged. We got some spuds. Hey, uh, OP2. Yeah. This way? Mm-hmm. Shit! Oh, no! <gasps> oh, gosh, that, that was right freaking there. That was ridiculously close. I think so. Go, go, go! It's honestly crazy that they were just like getting instructions and like now they just like walk right out and they're just right in it. Yeah. It's like you're never safe. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I just got a bad feeling about these two. I wonder what his injury was then. I don't remember. I don't remember. It must have been bad if it took that long. Or he milked it, which is what they think. Yeah. Like his guys. We'll see how his attitude is, you know, yeah. here. I think he wants to come yeah. back and prove himself. Congratulations on the Battlefield Commission. Yeah, but what? They're making you an officer, no? Mm -hmm. Me, no. You must be thinking of First Sergeant Lipton. Oh, <laughs> awkward. I was kind of like, what, what? Oh, you want to introduce me to the men? Well, some are sleeping downstairs. The rest are right here. <laughs> introduce yourself. Yeah. Captain Spears is to pick 15 men. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Jones wants to be one of them. I said let the kid go. To choose the experience. Probably could find 14 replacements to help them out. And they're trying to get the people who haven't been dealing with as much shit. But that's like kind of like the thing I was talking about. Like, do you want people who aren't experienced or do mm -hmm. you want people who are? I know the people who are have been break. through enough. Yeah. But you also would trust them a little bit more and... You know, dodgy situations. Just give us the names, Webb. Who? Oh. There are three men here in this room that they think mm -hmm. should be on the patrol. Who? Well, if I tell you, you can't let on that you know. Oh my gosh, she they're gonna say. They're don't give a fuck about you right now, bro. So it's McClung, Heffron, and Ramirez. I'll tell them. I just need listen to up. <clears throat> Got some bad news. There is a patrol set for tonight. So far, Spears wants McClung. We know. Yeah, we've just fucking heard. Webster here <laughs> told us. <laughs> oh. Easy white. Yep. Uh-huh. Can't get over this freaking Jones guy. I can't figure out what I've seen him in before. But that face looks so recognizable. But it just seems like he's a lot younger. Should just go through it so much. Yeah. But for the newbies, they're gonna be like, "What the hell?" Yeah. 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 Yeah.
challenge in the back. At least Webster's not flinching right now, but he did earlier, so yeah. there's that. But uh, like, like I said, Webster, he's just been out oh, for a while, shit. but... Is that Magneto? Who is it? Michael Fassbender? Michael what the fuck? How there's so many characters? How do we have Xavier and Magneto? Our fighter by artillery when they're huddled in a foxhole. Oh my gosh. Bill Keen, a Tacoa man, was killed because he was carrying a sack of potatoes from one. Oh, the oh, potato guy! Potatoes! Oh my gosh! He was dead before Doc Rowe even heard the call for a medic. Get out here, William. Gosh. Wow. I'm like shocked by how many like celebrities I know, pop up in and out of this. And like they weren't known about before, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like this was kind of like one step on their journey to becoming. More I feel like a actors. big reason is because they needed a lot of of cast. Mm -hmm. You know, like they needed a lot of actors. Yeah. So there was just more opportunity, probably at the I time, guess, yeah. for jobs. And there were just like characters. Well, I, the thing is, I don't know. Like, I feel like they were just kind of like roles that people ended up, you know, like um, I forgot his name in the show, but the replacement that was. Um, What's Magneto's name? John, um, McAvoy? Magneto? No, no, um, oh, Professor James Xavier. Mac James McAvoy. He just came in one episode and was dead like halfway through. Or like Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy <laughs> Fallon, Simon Pegg. Like, there were so many people that just popped up. The guy from Friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though he had a bigger role. So, second platoon. I swear to God, if we were down to three guys, they still want us for it. I can't believe they're gonna make Malachi leave. Yeah, Christ, he only lost his five best friends. What the fuck's he got to look for? His five best friends. I wonder if that was kind of like a reference to that uh, that guy from the beginning. He just looks so clean compared to everyone mm -hmm. else. Damn. The look on the face says it all. God damn it, Johnny, you're breaking my heart, I'm telling you. Come on, George. Just <coughs> come on, Here you go. 15 bucks. Juicy fruit, happy? Yeah. <laughs> Juicy fruit? I used to like that as a kid. Into a house across the river. I think we could get at least one Hershey bar from the <laughs> Hershey bar. Like trading candies? Yeah, I know. Hershey bars! <laughs> Jesus Christ. We can trim them. Yeah, who are they for? They're not you. Juicy oh, fruit on. just lasted slightly longer than zebra gum in terms of flavor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, guys? Like we do at the place, George. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did good, huh? How you All feeling? Right. As long as you keep your hands off my ass, I'll be fine. Have our issues. Thanks. Hey, you guys are fucking Hershey bar. Well, he got shot in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a thing here, by mm. the way. <laughs> it might happen to you. <laughs> hey, can you believe this guy? Try to get him out of the fucking way. Come straight back. Yeah, well, that's not what I heard. I heard the oh, see, yeah. it's like yeah. he got shot in the ass, literally, and he's back mm. limping, and you were gone for four months for whatever reason. I, know, I forgot why. Yeah. Before you we were even told. Yeah. Where are we going? To the house. I got a blast. Is Captain Winters gonna be with him? <sighs> Jesus. Wait, I don't know. Maybe he smoked cigarettes. Then I'm coming to. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Please. About the patrol. I feel that I should go on the patrol, sir. I know it could use the experience. We can say Winters. Yeah. Anything there else? we go. <laughs> Captain Winters. Yes. I'd really like to be on that patrol, sir. If it's true, the crowds are finished. I haven't really done anything, except deliver mail and type morning reports. Absolutely. Mm. Thank you, Captain. Oh, well, he got the yes, but... He's got a point about Sergeant Malarkey. But he just wants to be on it. He wants to, like, yeah. lead it. Not lead it. I don't actually know. Is it lead it or lead something? You can go. Go. There'll be a briefing. CP 1700. Uh. All right. Yes, sir. But being a part of it, does that mean, like... <clears throat> I mean, he is, like, a lieutenant, but... Okay. Can't be leading. The guys that are not going to really respect him, like, sad to say, but like he hasn't been in it with them, you know. Not on his first day. Isn't it like a thing that if you graduate from West Point, you like automatically are a higher rank? I think I that's think a thing. So that's why people are yeah. calling him sir and shit. I didn't know that to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Or if you have a degree, I don't know. If y'all know in the comments, let us know. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Secured four rubber boats to get you across the river. Lieutenant Jones here is the ranking officer. Oh. And he'll be along as an observer. 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 Okay. okay. Sergeant Martin here will lead the patrol. Well, that's Martin. good. Perimeter around the house. Once that's in place, get your rifle grenades in the first floor window. Get your assault team in quick. Okay. Remember, it's about prisoners. You speak German, right, Webster? 
That's my team, sir. Good. He means business. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, sir. I love how far Winters has. I know. Like, I like seeing him in like the leader role mm -hmm. a lot. Even though I would love to see him mm -hmm. kind of like lead more in like Easy Company, but you know, the higher he's up, the more you gotta like uh, delegate. Well, you better prove yourself, Webster. I can go either way at this point. Like, I can't tell if he's purposely being like that or he just keeps making kind of like, you know, he just doesn't yeah. know the... You said 15 men. There's 16 of us, including two translators. I'm fine. Uh, you want to sit this one out? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Want to supervise? Okay, so he... Uh, okay. Earned a little favor. Mm -hmm. It's because you're nervous, you don't feel like you've earned it, like you didn't like the shower, or what's going on? Look, like you should eat before the mission. Yeah. Maybe he'll explain his logic. He looks so wide-eyed, I don't... Mm. They're both getting used to it now. Mm-hmm. They're all just preparing. I'm just anticipating something going wrong. I feel like I always think that, but obviously it's war. And second yeah. of all, like the beginning of this, they kind of talked about how, you know, you think like if you keep your head down, just keep trucking along. Make it through. Yeah. So, like, who's not going to make it by that logic, you know? And then I'm also looking at uh, Webster and Jones because they don't have that experience and thinking, is that going to be a detriment? I don't know. Those of us who had seen combat before put that out of our minds. Those who hadn't probably thought of little else as we waited for darkness. Mm -hmm. Like Jones. If, if, if I feel like somebody is going to, like, you know, possibly die. I feel like it might be Jones because I, I was kind of forgetting that Webster was there on D-Day, you know, yeah. so he's and he had, been in had another some one combat too. experience. He just wasn't there for Bastone and the other one. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Who's that? That's on their side, right? Yes. Oh, crap. It fell. Oh, oh my not gosh. That deep. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, you ought to okay, keep going. We're already down four, so. Or three. Did they, they did that on purpose? Suck? I don't know. You think they would get back in and. Just, I guess right. you could just follow the rope, too, right? But, like, what they said earlier, too, it's like the war was winding down. Right. So it's kind of like both sides. Do we really want to die? Yeah, right. Powers, win, secure the left flank. Send it. Worried for him more so than the rest, but I don't know. Like the moment just seems a little too big for him. Oh my gosh. Oh! He went in too early then? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no! This is like so chaotic. Oh, there are. Can you hear it? Oh my gosh, she's gonna get hit. Oh wait, no, they heard it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Dang! This is like so much is going on right now. Who's on the ground? Was that Webster? 
Honestly, can't you just get in there and swim if you needed to? I know. Like, it can't be that deep if it's yeah. that, like, narrow of a river. Gosh. Well, Jones is there. I haven't got an eye on Webster yet. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, his face! Oh. I hadn't, like, gotten a good, good look at it yet. Oh my gosh. Oh no, no! Oh my gosh, no. He needs to, like, yeah. be taken out of the situation. Uh, Honestly, uh, he did a good job of kind of controlling yeah. it there. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Light, I need some light. Give me some light. When the medic just comes in all mm. calm, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Oh goodness. Eugene Jackson was 20 years old. <sighs> He'd lied about his age when he joined the army at 16. Oh man. He died a hero on an important mission that would help win the war. He was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. I feel like this didn't even really even need to be Like, what was done. the point of getting like three or four prisoners? Like, yeah. I don't understand. I mean... Like, what, what were they gonna do? Don't turn that. Turn out. Thanks, sir. I mean, he kind of rushed in, but it's just a shitty situation. Yeah. I feel like he, like, went in too quickly yeah. after he put his, like... They were telling him to wait, yeah. at that point he was already in, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it was just so chaotic, what happened, but I feel like it was, like, supposed to be, so we felt their yeah. chaos, you know, how it was for them. That's probably why he rushed in like that, because it was just so and much honestly, was going on. so many of these people were so young. Like, yeah. you know, the idea of, like, you know, the other guy who shot himself in the leg ended up dying and stuff. It's just like, you know, mistakes are made, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, they want another patrol tonight. Gosh. They just have to keep moving forward. What's the point of getting a couple of prisoners of war? Is that on the other side? It's a third prisoner that was too far gone to bring back. Oh my. Maybe we should put him out of his misery. Oh my gosh. I can't listen to it anymore. So he's just been cr like crying in agony all night. That's awful. Twenty-two. What you looking at, Webster? It's chill, bro. It's not his fault. Mm -hmm. Sick and tired of fucking patrols, taking orders. Hey, come, shut up. It's boring, okay? Taking the side, Johnny. I'm like nervous about what he's about to do. I don't yeah. Know. So he knows we lost a man. Yeah, he knows. He also knows he picked up two prisoners who talked. Ob. Uh, oh, they talked. Okay. Okay. Trouble. Hitler's okay. favorite color. <laughs> I don't know. None of it gets us across the river. Okay, uh, well that didn't really. So matter. then it wasn't yeah. like important information then. Sink's been on the phone all day bragging it up, but I think what he's just the showing fuck? Off now. Oh my gosh! You just fucking traded a life for two people. It wouldn't even have fucking mattered. I met a mustard. If you want me to brief him, I'm gonna. The same roster as last night. Winter step in. Uh, do we really have to do this again? Y'all did a damn fine job on a tough mission last night. I'm gonna wish you good luck tonight, because I'd be expecting more of the same. Can I have you brief the men? Uh, just on our way, sir. All right. In fact, I'm sure you remind them how proud I am of what they did. Oh my gosh, they don't give a fuck about that. They just lost another friend in a war that's like dwindling down. So I'll brief him now, sir? No. No, I'll do it. Okay. I mean, you can. I feel like yeah. once you get a an order, you know. Just, like, get the guy that's in the river and say that that was the mission. I don't know. You men did an excellent job last night. I'm, uh, I'm proud. I'm proud. I just saw Colonel Sink. He's proud, too. In fact, he's so proud, he wants you to do another. <laughs> what a shitty thing to say. 
We have enemy movement here and here, which means this is our new house target here. We recovered all the boats, so we'll be setting off from the same place we did last night. We're not changing the plan any, sir. That sounds... No. Bad. Want you all to get a full night's sleep tonight. It means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across the river. Oh my god! Oh, winners! We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Oh, oh winners! winners! You better not snitch. I know. You snitches, snitches get, get stitches. stitches. You don't snitch here. None of you snitch. I feel like they. Well, won't they won't. Win. They've yeah. been. They've been through the ringer. The Jones over here might want to fucking prove himself, but bro. Let it go. Moving off the line. Like, Winter's literally, like, saved your lives, honestly. <laughs> that fucker. Jones. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Bro, you need don't. to fucking take this as a win. Just okay, okay, wait, okay. let it be, please. Couple nods Just, of approval. You know what? Writing this up, I'll take care of it. <laughs> might actually enjoy it. Okay. I think you might be honest. <gasps> that was a oh, okay, yeah. rigged. Yeah. For Sergeant Lipton. Sir. Your honorable discharge is an enlisted man. Oh. So a second patrol never happened. Word was Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report <laughs> and regiment never got wise. <laughs> As we pulled out of Hagenau, many of us in Easy Company felt that a corner had been turned. Uh, no. I hate when people talk like this. A fucking mortar is going to fucking hit somewhere. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting to your rank. What? He's getting promoted? Oh. <gasps> he is, isn't he? Oh, please. <laughs> Congratulations, Major. Major. He's a major, Major Winters. I love Winters. I know. From the beginning, you know, because like, he was like being treated like shit yeah. by Sobel when he was like being reg regulated to like do the the food like service and stuff like that. And Even though he kind of got promoted on a little bit of a lie, but it's okay. Fuck it. It was kind of like a, an honorable lie, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you could call it that. But I mean, he, you know, it was a stupid mission for no yeah. reason, and I mean, we saved lost. Their they lost the guy for nothing. Yeah. Like, what are two extra prisoners going to do when the war's already going to be over yeah. soon? Oh, oh he kind of earned his place back. Yeah. I mean, it's like once you go through something with them, you yeah, know. Yeah, you go through the ringer with people. The standard of living was on the rise. Racetracks and nightclubs were booming. Oh, fuck. And then they're still just getting hit. How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, what agony, and bloodshed? interesting way to show, like this. Like, talk about this with those things happening in the background. So another really good episode. Mm -hmm. um, this episode, we got to focus on two characters in Jones and Webster who were both kind of in different situations. Jones graduated from West Point. So I think we kind of talked, or you speculated that, that when you graduate from West Point that you already had a higher rank. I don't know if it's West Point in particular. I mm -hmm. think it's like having a degree. Mm. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, anyway, they didn't really have experience. Webster did, but it was like kind of earlier in the war. There was like that thing that was kind of held over him. But I feel like the thing that I took most from this episode was really like this unnecessary mission that they got sent on here for a couple of freaking POWs that... At the end of the day, would it? What's it gonna matter? Like, and I feel like kind of Nixon was kind of voicing that to, to Winters there, and to see Winters haven't actually like you know get a good night's rest to tell me the report, and then Nixon just wrote it as like a bogus thing. I thought it was really cool, which I yeah. respect because yeah. we've seen well, we've seen one war movie where there was a situation um, all quiet on the Western Front. I'm gonna try my best not to spoil it, but there were orders that were given by people for fucking no reason at all like it kind of just it almost, was almost like a like death a, sentence for no reason it was like like a like a vanity order like to inflate somebody's own ego you know yeah. and that's kind of what i felt like was the situation here and that's kind of what it really reminded me of yeah yeah it was also interesting to see the perspective of of jones and webster but to see them kind of come back as it's kind of dwindling down was yeah. interesting and then like you saw the perspective of certain people who were like Oh, I, like, let me go on this mission. I need to prove myself, yeah. which I think he might have been the one that died. I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. But, you know, just like everybody's trying to just has different reasonings. But just to see them kind of come back and like 
that at this point in the war was an interesting perspective too. Yeah, um, you know the opening where we actually had to deal with like the the vets who were talking about um, what had happened in the war. When they mentioned, it was kind of like, oh, if I just kind of keep my head down, like I have a real chance of getting through this, which. We've seen, obviously, just the settings from like D-Day to Bastogne to all these other battles. Um, the last episode in particular as well, where it was just kind of like a barrage mm -hmm. of just bullets and mortars. And just it did not look like you were really going to live through it. And yeah. to have gone through that so many times and now to feel like probably like, you know, I would imagine that a lot of people thought, OK, am I going to really make it through yeah. this? Because they had seen so many of their friends die. And then now to get so close and like to have like stupid missions like this where we lose people so unnecessarily is frustrating. Um, but like it's it's really an interesting perspective because it's not really something you think about like in a war. Like, OK, the I know there's like that term friendly fire. Where you can, like, you know, kill somebody by accident or get killed. Like, I mentioned it earlier in this episode, the guy who shot himself with uh, the Luger in the leg. And that was just, like, an freak accident. He mm -hmm. shot himself. He hit the artery. And, like, he just bled out. And in a situation like this, like, we had a guy just kind of run in there a little bit too early. Which, unfortunately, ended up causing him to die. Because he took, like, you know, the brunt of that shrapnel to, like, the neck, if I'm not mistaken. And it's kind of, like, something you just don't think about. How many people lose their lives in those types of situations. when It, were, it wasn't even, like, the enemy that's coming at yeah. you. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye everyone.